how to be kind to yourself and love yourself when you experience failures and hardships. That is today's Paano Ba to issue from our letter sender and the person I invited to give advice. is really one of my pegs in life and handles life so effortlessly. I'd like you to say hi to Steph Sabini Kesky. Hi, hi Steph! Steph. Oh my God. Finally, this is the time. Such a big question too. Yes, right? oh yes. Gosh. So okay. yeah, her question is how to be kind to yourself after experiencing some sort of failure in life? First of all, I think you have to remember that failure, it's not really a failure, right? It's kind of just like a hurdle. I've experienced many failures in life. Even if you're not, you're effortless in life. Most of this stuff yeah. is not worth your wrinkles, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so going back, uh, I guess two major failures that I've had was I was married before I was married very, very young to the wrong guy. I was able to move on clean. I was able to get my annulment in the church. But even after all of that, syempre, mabigat yan, no? Yeah. It took how many years, even if I moved on, had a husband and kids, like to really let go of that. Was it my fault? So there's a lot of that. Champre, even inside in your psyche, you think, because maybe I should have done something. Yeah, better, lagging the should have. Whatever. Yeah, correct. And then, of course, something like marriage, you make that commitment in front of everyone and you say it's for forever mm -hmm. and ever, mm -hmm. and it's very painful mm -hmm. when it's not. Yeah. Right? And you become family and you break up your family also. You yeah. break up each other's family. And I felt that a lot of it was. Well, not necessarily my fault, but maybe I could have done yeah, could have. more, yeah. right? And I just kind of poured myself into work and trusted that God had something better that He didn't want me to be unhappy. But this was the right decision. Yeah. And eventually it was because I learned the things that I had become a completely different person in that relationship. I trying to please my ex changed myself and then I didn't know who I was anymore and ultimately we didn't really love each other for who we were I learned that what I didn't want to have in my next relationship yeah so I think more than anything failures are a learning platform and just accept that right. <laughs> you'll make those mistakes and lapses of judgment and it doesn't matter what the reason was it's mm -hmm. okay you accept you embrace and you move on one of my biggest failures I would say recently in my restaurant after I broke with my ex, I really poured my heart and soul for the next five years into, into work. I had a catering company that was doing quite well for five years and I opened my restaurant and I thought, if I could feed 400 people, Champ, I could feed 50 people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In the same location, it should be easy. Mm -hmm. Nothing of it was easy. <laughs> It was not easy at all. I love to cook. I have no management skills. I was like, what's a PL? What's profit mm -hmm. and loss? Like, I was really yeah. learning on the go. And then it was really my second. Like, when you thought they were loyal employees, they'll steal from you. And you're like, why will you steal? I'll help you. What's your problem? The restaurant was featured everywhere. And after a year, I had to close. I lost a lot of money. And it was like a dream at, that you put At the into time, it was my and dream. Then, yeah. And yeah. it was really <laughs> difficult. I didn't open up about it to anyone, not even my fiance at the time, not my husband. I just really internalized everything until I wrote an article and I realized that my restaurant closing it was like breaking up with somebody. Right? Yeah, for sure. Like, mm -hmm. so enthusiastic, mm -hmm. you're doing all this stuff and then all these problems and you know you have to break up with the person. It doesn't yeah. make it easier. And then you're like, but yes, maybe we can fix it. Mm -hmm. We can give everything. Mm -hmm. And then, but no, it's mm -hmm. really over. Yeah. Like, you know, and then yeah. you still keep thinking about it. What did I do wrong with it? Yeah. And you know what, guys? When I wrote my article, I'm damning that sweat Nobody talks about their failed businesses. Right. Nobody talks about their failed career ventures. And everyone experiences it. Goes yeah. through it. So, you're not alone. And a lot of people said, thank you for your courage. I just put it out there. I wrote it in black and white. I failed. I tried everything. And then ultimately, my decision is close it. Mm -hmm. And I just wouldn't succeed in this. And that's okay. And I was really going through it and the one person, she's the owner of Apartment 1B, mm -hmm. she I was telling her about this, she's like, you know, think of it as what you lost in money and time, it's an MBA. What did you learn out of it? You learned how to manage people, you learned how to manage money, you learned how the market works, what people like, what people don't like. You learn things about yourself. You yeah. learn to be patient, you learn to be hardworking. Yeah. And those are life skills. That you can't learn it from anywhere right. else, right? right. Even in school, they don't teach you these things. So honestly, it's totally okay to fail as long as you learn from it and you learn to move on. And don't forget your failures. Accept that. Own it. Don't try to cover it up because then you'll never learn from it. Right. You won't accept 
right? So yeah. that's really important that you know your failures. It's life, the yeah. bad, it's your Correct. experiences. Correct. I mean, not everything is happy yeah. all the time. And actually, really most importantly, you accept it. People are ashamed. There's no reason to be ashamed. Mm-hmm. I just have a quick follow up because in Pinoy culture, a lot of our being hard on ourselves after failure is also because ay baka kasi pinag-uusapan ako, sinasabi ng ibang tao na ganito. Your circle of friends will talk about yeah, it. Then. People will talk about behind your back, social media okay. ngayon. When I first broke up with my ex, I just came back to Manila after being gone for what, seven years. Siyempre, every single person I talked to was like, and how are you? Ano mo yun? Yung parang, and how are you? Uh, uh, alam mo, may iniisip sila. They're like yeah, 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 yeah. fishing mm-hmm. and you're like, oh my god, uh, and the gossip that went yeah. with it. Pero alam mo, you have to trust that the people closest to you, the people who really love you and know you, they will never judge you. They'll take you for who you are. I mean, even my family, that was very difficult for them, like my breakup, but eventually they understood why. And then same with my business. I was the most ashamed of myself. No one in my family or my close circle of friends ever thought that like mm-hmm. oh wow well, she yeah. failed people who say that they're just being mean and right. you don't need them in your life so whatever you do kahit you're successful they'll still talk about you that's in true. a bad way that's true Grab mentality eh diba mm-hmm. so the people who really love you yeah. okay lang yun. you should be vulnerable eh. that's how you get close to people and don't forget to ask for advice I, I did it so I think that's really important open up ask for advice mm-hmm. so you don't burn the dress Oh, that's yeah. it. Thank you so much, Steph. Yes. I hope you know. Yes. Ako, parang it's gonna help me in the next <laughs> kung anong wall yung pagdadaanan mo yeah. sa life. But super, super thank you. We hope that helps you. That's it. Till next time.